get started and um, let you know who won this year. We want to recognize last year's winners. So, Brother Mason Baker, stand up. Mr. Ali Cobb, stand up. Our great uh, examples. So let's give them a good hand. All right. All right. We still got some that are coming in. Come quickly. But when we call your name, if you would, just come up here and come to this side. And Sister Melita is going to hand you the trophy. We're going to start off with the Miss Youth Camp 2024 runner up is, drum roll please, Hallie Spinks. All right, give her a good hand. And on the guy's side, the runner-up for Mr. Youth Camp 2024 is Travis Adair. Come on up here, guys. I want to hear a testimony from them real quick. Well, I'm thankful for all the Lord has done in my life here at Granite. It's my home camp, so, you know, it's special to win here, and I'm just so thankful for all the Lord's done in my life, you know. It's been great to get in the altars, great services, and I'm excited to see what he's going to do tonight. I love the Lord. I'm thankful for everything he's done for me at this youth camp. I'm thankful for the services we've already had. I'm ready to see what he's going to do for us tonight. All right, let's give them a good hand. And for Mr. Youth Camp 2024, we have Creighton Webb. Come on up. Yeah. Man, didn't he do a great job today, morning service? Man, that was awesome. And for Miss Youth Camp 2024, we have Ruthie Lloyd. Give them a good hand. Brother Gray, hear a testimony from him. Well, I thank you for the Lord and all he's done for me. This camp's been a, been a real blessing to me. I've come here for three years now, and every year it's been great. The Lord's furthered me every time I've came, and I've enjoyed it. And if I can encourage you to do one thing is to trust in him and believe in him, and he'll take you through it. I love the Lord, and I'm so thankful for this youth camp. The services were great. And thanks, guys. All right. Let's give them a good hand. Aren't we proud of them? All right. At this time, we're going to turn it over to Brother David. He's got a few things. Um, we're going to take just a, a couple pictures here. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll have everybody come up. You can take pictures if you want to here in just a minute as soon as we get this done. Um, but she's going to take a couple pictures now, and then we're going to turn it over to Brother David, and he's got a few things to take care of. Give them a good hand. Would you do that? Appreciate them. We do. Boy, it's great to be in Thursday night service. I've been looking forward to this since Monday sometime. Wow. Oh, that's great. Man, we've just had a great move of the Lord, haven't we? 
I have. I have had a great move of the Lord this week. Amen. It's just been wonderful. All these things that we accomplished this week, none of it could be done without the uh, labor of so many people. And we need to, uh, it's, it's hard to name people and just name individuals because there's so many. Obviously, it is a group effort and they all work together and, and we accomplish this task. And, uh, but there's a couple things I want to mention. I want to say thank you to all of our, the Bible colleges that were here this week. We had a group here from Harvest Time. We had a group here from Ozark Bible Institute, from Heritage Bible College, and Free Gospel Bible Institute. And I appreciate all their hard work and what they've done to contribute to this week. And uh, they represented their college as well. Let's give them a hand. Another group of people that we want to recognize tonight, and I feel like you young people especially, ought to be very uh, thankful and appreciative of them, and that is the counselor that brought you this week. Many, hold on. Many of them taking off work, some without pay, vacation time, precious vacation time, whatever it was, but they did it because they love you and they want to see you touched by the Lord. And they came and brought you to this youth camp, prayed with you in these altars. Can you give them a good hand and let them know how much you appreciate them, all right? How many of you have enjoyed our fun time this week with Brother Josh Rogers? Brother Josh, he, he is the king of fun time, and uh, he does an outstanding job, and we just are uh, so appreciative of all that he does and makes it happen. My, was it donut day, Krispy Kreme day, an awesome day today. That was a good time, wasn't it? Appreciate Josh and Kayla Thomas and Brother uh, Dawson and Mackenzie Brooks. Give them a good hand. They work so hard to put all that together. We appreciate that. Appreciate Brother Trey Holden coming in and being our fresh legs to help us through the week. Brother Trey and Sister Melita, such a great help to us, and we appreciate them. And uh, I want to say a big thank you to all of our cooks in the kitchen. They did a fantastic job, and I'm telling you, they worked, worked hard to feed an army this week, and it was awesome. So we appreciate our cooks. And uh, man, Sunset Hill has the best concession stand in the country. I appreciate those working at the concession stand. Give them a good hand. Appreciate them and all their labor. So many that work in there to make that happen. And uh, they, they really did a great job this week, so we appreciate them. And uh, I want to say also that this is, this is a group effort by Bethel Chapel and all of Bethel Chapel. I would like for Bethel Chapel, if you're in the building, would you stand right now? Just stand up, all of Bethel Chapel, wherever you're at. Hey Amen. Some are not, probably some straightening up somewhere, but man, appreciate all of Bethel Chapel and all their hard work. Give them a good hand, if you would. I appreciate their burden for this camp, and uh, that's the, just not this week, but man, starting as soon as the weather breaks from the winter time, they get after it, and uh, they'll be working on it all summer long and all through, all the way up past uh, Youth Extreme in September, so they, uh, they are great to work with, and I appreciate the church. All right? Hey, Amen. I want to recognize some people tonight, and... Uh, um, I've been at Bethel Chapel for 21 years, and that's a, that's a fairly a lengthy time. So if I get fired after tonight, I felt like I've done well, 21 years. I've already updated my LinkedIn site, and they got it all, and my LinkedIn profile's updated. So uh, I want Brother Larry and Sister Tricia Heath, 
something. I'm going to honor them tonight, and I want them to come. I know he don't like this. Brother Larry, you can fire me later, all right? But come ahead, Brother Larry and Sister Tricia. Amen. We will, Brother Larry and Sister Tricia have served in the concession stand for 46 years. Come here, Brother Larry. I'm not, I'm not real sure that Sister Tricia can do the stairs t tonight, but many of you probably say, you know, I don't remember seeing him. That's because he works tirelessly in the concession stand for the last 46 years every night. Amen. Can you imagine that long? All right. And uh, so I appreciate them. We have a plaque that we want to present to Brother Larry and Sister Tricia. 46 years of dedicated labor to the concession stand at Sunset Hill Campground. Thank you for your hard work and unwavering passion in this ministry. And Brother Larry, I love you. Love you, Sister Tricia. Love you. Give them a good hand. They, appreciate, they deserve that. Praise the Lord. Appreciate all of those that have labored and uh, all that you have done for the Lord. And, uh, you know, I, I, can't, I can't stand here tonight and start naming all the names, but people that have cleaned toilets and bathrooms and, and uh, worked late at night, uh, just keeping things going for us. And for you young people, sometimes it goes unnoticed, but uh, anybody that's been in leadership over anything, you, you notice those things, don't you? You take notice, and so uh, we appreciate that. But I, I want to say thank you also to all of our pastors that take confidence in us that you would allow your young people to come and be a part of Sunset Hill Camp. I mean that. I love you all. appreciate you guys. Amen. You ready to go to church tonight, young people? Amen. There's somebody else that does a lot of work around here and he don't like to be recognized and Sister Ruth doesn't as well but I'm telling you you have no idea how much work that these two put in behind the scenes and it seems like every year that I've worked with them I realize how much more they do I think it'd be alright for us to show our appreciation to them here tonight Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to church. Can we do that? Let's go to church tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. We've had such great services. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like for pastors and preachers, would you come now and join us on the platform? Would you come right now? Some of you that's here, we would love for you to join us and help us. Amen. I need some young men who are preacher backers. I want you to come and sit on the front pew, all right? Amen. Some of you, you're sitting back there, and about five minutes into his preaching, you're going to be standing up here anyway. Why don't you come and just start right here, right now, all right? Amen. I need some preacher backers here. So if you would, help us there. Pastors, come. Amen. Preachers, join us on the platform, and we appreciate uh, you being a part of this tonight, all right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we lift our hands and let's ask the Lord to come by and move for us. Ask God to let the Holy Ghost have its way in this service right now in the name of Jesus. God, we love you, Lord. God, we need you, Lord Jesus. God, we ask you, Lord, God, that you would move, that you would help us. God, that you would meet every need, oh God. And we ask you, Lord, God, that you would just let the Holy Ghost move in this altar. God, I pray, Lord, let your spirit have its complete way in every life. God, we ask you to help us to yield to your spirit, to obey the moving of the Holy Ghost. And God, help our young people, God, to open their hearts and respond to the touch of God. And we'll give you all the glory, all the praise for it in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, amen. Would you shake somebody's hand 
Amen. And then you'll be seated and we'll receive the offering tonight. Amen. Brother Gabe Bontrager, get your ushers ready, please. Brother Gabe. Amen. We're going to go ahead and receive our offering for tonight. Amen. Some have asked me about, our, about the, the needs of the church, of the camp, and I think our offerings for the last three nights, the offerings for the last three nights have totaled about $8,500. Thank you very much. And I uh, want you to know that we appreciate all that you give. Amen. But so far... So far, Donut Day, Donut Day has outraised our offerings. <laughs> Can you believe that? Crisp, auctioning off Krispy Kreme donuts, man, weighs over $10,000 today in Krispy Kreme donuts. Can you believe that? Amen. So thank you so much. The Lord bless you for for your giving. Amen. I want, uh, brother, come here and help me with this real fast. Brother Gabe, amen. Hand a few of these to each of the ushers. They're handing out a, they'll have a card with them. If you would like to pay, uh, give an offering with a credit card, you can follow the QR scan code. How many of you people over that 60 years old know what a QR code is, right? But you can scan that with your smart device, probably even a dumb device, and you can probably scan that and you can give online via a credit card or however you'd like to do that, all right? And so we appreciate your giving to that to the ministry of Sunset Hill. Let's pray for it, then we're going to go to church. Lord, we love you, God. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness, for your giving. God, we thank you, Lord, that you have blessed us. You've blessed these people in the altar, Lord. And God, we thank you for that. We ask you, Lord, God, help to meet the needs of the camp. God, we'll give you all the glory. We'll give you all the praise. It's all for you, Lord. And we worship you now, Lord Jesus. Bless this offering. Amen. Amen. Brother Trey.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If we could, let's stand tonight. We're going to go to a verse of Scripture that we're all familiar with, but I think it would be proper for us to read it tonight. Psalm chapter 100, you'll probably quote it by heart, but that Scripture says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Why? For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Are you thankful for the God that we serve here tonight? Would it be okay if we just started this service right here tonight with lifting our hands and saying right here from the very beginning, Lord, we're going to lift our hands to you. We're going to give you glory. We give you praise. We lift your name on high because you've been a good God to me. You've been faithful, Lord, and I'm not going to fail you at this time, but I'm going to take my opportunity and lift your name on high. I'm going to take my opportunity and give you glory. I'm going to take this opportunity to give you praise and let you know that, Lord, I love you. Lord, I thank you for your goodness. God, I thank you for your faithfulness. And I'm going to give you glory. I think we can do better than that, young people. I've seen you worshiping all week. We're not going to back up on Thursday night. I know you've got parents here. I know we got pastors here, but we still came to have church. We still came to give God glory. We still came to give God praise. Hallelujah. So as Brother Dawson's coming, he's going to lead us in singing tonight. Let's just get in and worship the Lord. Now would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood, and would over evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, Wonder working power. Oh, help me sing. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Now, would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood, have come for a cleansing to Calvary side. There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Now would you be wider, much wider than snow. There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin states are lost in his life-giving flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. And would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, Working power. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power 
to do service for Jesus, your King. There's power in the blood, power in the blood. And would you live daily in praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power. Now would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. And would you, O oh evil, a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power. Now would you be white? Much wider than snow. There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. And sin states are lost in their life giving blood. There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power. Power. Wonder working power. Oh, come on. Oh, there is power. Power. Wonder working power. Oh, help me sing. Now would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. And would you live daily? It's praises to sing. There's wonderful power in the blood. Power, power, wonder working power. For Jesus, your King, there's power in the blood. Power in the blood. And would you live daily in praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Now would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. And would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power. In the blood of Jesus, in the blood of the Lamb. Just blood of the Lamb. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Could we give the Lord a praise? Oh, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. That reminds me of another old song. Mm, well, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. Well, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Well, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Well, they nailed him to a tree. They nailed him to a tree. They nailed him to a tree for me. Well, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon a cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Well, that blood came.
came streaming down. That blood came streaming down. That blood came streaming down for me. Well, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon a cross. Well, I know it was the blood for me. Well, he rose on that third day. He rose on that third day. He rose on that third day for me. Well, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon a cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I'll sing it, young people. was lost. Jesus died upon that cross and I know it was the blood. Well, he rose on that third day. He rose on that third day. He rose on that third day for me. Well, one day when I was lost, he died upon that cross and I know it was the blood for me. Well, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Well, they nailed him to a tree. They nailed him to that tree. They nailed him to a tree for me. Well, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that's not the end of the story. Blood came streaming down. The blood came streaming down. The blood came streaming down for me. Well, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon a cross. I know it was the blood for me. He didn't stay there. He rose on that third day. He rose on that third day. He rose on that third day for me. Well, one day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. I know it was the blood. Well, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again for me. Because one day when I was lost, he died upon a cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Well, he's coming back at me. He's coming back again. He's coming back again for me. Well, one day when I was lost, he died upon a cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Oh, why don't we worship him here tonight? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He rose on that third day. He rose on that third day. He rose on that third day for me. Well, one day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Well, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, he died upon a cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Oh, if you're thankful for the blood, why don't we thank him here tonight? God, I thank you for the sacrifice you made on Calvary. I thank you that you gave yourself so that I could be saved. Oh, let's take some time and worship. Come on, young people, we got time. We can worship and have preaching too.
Let's just take a little bit and let the Lord know. I'm thankful for the cross. I'm thankful for an empty tomb. I'm thankful for the blood that washed me white as snow. And tonight, Lord, I'm going to give you praise. Oh, I'm thankful to be saved. I'm thankful to be redeemed. I'm thankful to be blood pot. I'm thankful to be washed. I'm thankful to be delivered. And I'm going to give you glory. I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to magnify your name. Oh, come on, young people. Well, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. Well, one day when I was lost, he died upon a cross. And I know it was the blood for me. Let's give the Lord a good praise. Oh, hallelujah. Young people, you don't let the devil need to, you don't need to let the devil tell you that because you didn't come delivered out of drugs or you weren't an alcoholic that you don't have a testimony. The same blood that delivers the raging alcoholic the same blood that delivered the addict that was strung out on dope is the same blood that reached down into a little church house when I was about seven years old when I felt the Holy Ghost convict me. And then I became a teenager. Didn't go out deep in sin but just did things that I probably shouldn't have been doing. But you know what I remember? And I'll tell it till the day I die. Central Oklahoma Youth Camp 2010 on a Wednesday morning. I remember the Lord dealt with me. There, were, there wasn't any big explosion, Brother Douglas. You were there. But I remember the Lord dealt with me and said, if you're going to serve me, you're going to have to make a decision. And I remember as a 16-year-old young man walking down to that altar and saying, Lord, I'll give everything to you. No, I didn't have a story of coming in from far out in sin, but I still needed the blood. And you know what I found? That the same blood that delivers the drug addict can deliver a wandering pastor's boy that had a call of God on his life, but I was running away from it. Oh, but on that Wednesday morning, I found out that the blood was still for me. Do you want to know why I get excited about the blood of Jesus? It's because he did it for me. And if you're here, young person, you say, well, I don't have a great testimony. I didn't go out. I want you to know. I want you to shout it in the mouth of hell. The same blood that delivers them was what it took to deliver me. And if it would have been just me, he'd have still shed his blood. And so I'm going to give him glory. I'm going to give him praise. I'm going to magnify his name. I'm going to lift him up high because of his precious blood. Oh, come on, young people. You need to get past letting somebody else praise for you. Some of your mamas and daddies have thanked the Lord for your salvation more than you have. And that ought not be so. 
You need to realize it took the blood for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Choir, I want the choir to be coming. I know it's congested, but I want you to be making your way this way. I don't want to lose this spirit of worship that's here tonight. I believe that the blood of Jesus is here tonight. The same power that saved me, that saved you, I believe he's moving in the house tonight. And I believe there's enough of it that you can leave here different than how you came. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah, Brother Wyatt's making his way. He's going to testify. I don't hardly have any voice. Uh, the Lord wants us to sing this song. We were going to sing, I trust in God. I do that most of the time from PFYC. But this song is in a list that I listen to as I pray. Let Brother Wyatt through, you guys. He's going to testify. Um... And I just couldn't get away from it. So we need to sing this. Because you need to get this. This is an army. This is an army. And you need to get this song. Hallelujah, Brother Wyatt. Say something for the Lord, son. There's some words to this song that stick out to me as a young person comes from Isaiah chapter 6, verse 5 says, Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And in verse 8 it says, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, Lord. Send me. And I like the next verse because the Lord responds, and this is what he says. And he said, go. And he said, go. And as I begin to think about that scripture, you know, there were things in Isaiah's life, if you read a few verses before, there were some things he had to lay down first. Because there were things in his heart that should not have been there. There were things in his heart that, that were troubling him. That he knew there was something wrong. And then before he could go to hear the voice of the Lord. He had to lay those things on the altar. And God took the coals on the altar. And put them on his lips. And put them on his tongue. And he gave them a, a new heart. And then he said go. And he said hear my Lord. Send me. Hallelujah. And as I watched the young people pray, I just had a feeling that there were some young people, as I watched them and pray, and they really did pray, you really do. But I feel like there's some that are just on the edge of surrendering all. I feel like there's just a few, maybe just a handful, that you haven't really given everything to the Lord. I was reminded of these words that I read in a book. It relates to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. It says, Ye are not your own, for ye are bought with a price. One man said this, that we are his by every right of purchase in the world. When the nails pierced his hands, he bought our hands with all the power to work and to serve him. When the nails pierced his feet, he bought our feet with all power to go and run divine appointments for his kingdom. When he bore the crown of thorns on his head, he was buying our minds with all the power to think and plan for the progress of the kingdom of God. And when the spear pierced his heart, he was buying our hearts with all the power to love, to live, and to serve. I mean, can I remind a young person that you have been bought with a great price? So let us, as Paul said, present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is our reasonable service. Can I 
remind you that God will take nothing less than everything you've got. Amen. God wants it all, young person. He doesn't want part of your life. He doesn't want most of your life. Amen. Almost is not good enough for him. Amen. God wants it all. Amen. And as you lay it all on the altar, amen, sinners plunge beneath that flood and lose all their guilty stains. But you have to make a decision for yourself. None of us can make it for you. You have to make up in your mind. Could you lift your hands? I feel like God wants somebody to surrender their all to him. Hallelujah.
we go down. Let's sing that unison. Could you join us? Here I am, Lord. Send me. Here I am, Lord. Send I am Lord. 
Lily of the valley, let your sweet aroma fill my life. Rose of Sharon, show me how to grow in beauty in God's sign. Oh, fairest of ten thousand, make me a reflection of life. <laughs> the stars shine down on me. Let your love shine through me. Come on, sing it to the Lord tonight. Lead me, Lord. Oh, oh, lead me, Lord. I'll follow anywhere you open up the door. Let your word speak through me. Show me things I've never seen before. Lord, I want to be a witness that you can take what's wrong and make it right. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. So I pray they start shine down on me. Let your love shine through me in the night. Come on, sing it to the Lord. Oh, lead me, Lord, I'll follow anywhere. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let your word speak through me. Show me things I've never seen. Lord, I want to be a witness that you can take what's wrong and make it right. I pray a star shine down on me. Let your love shine through me. Come on, help me sing that second verse. Lord, I see a world that's dying, wounded by the master of the sea. They're groping in the darkness. They're haunted by the years of past defeat. Know anybody like, like that? Oh, but then I see you standing near me, Lord, shining with compassion in your eyes. Oh, I feel him right here tonight. So I pray day star shine down on me. Woo! Let your love shine through me. In the night Oh, lead me, Lord, I'll follow <laughs> Oh, let your word speak through me Show me things I've never seen before. Lord, I want to be a witness that you can take what's wrong and make it all right. Yes, he can. Sing this like you mean it. Day star, shine down on me. Oh, can we just make that a prayer all across this tabernacle tonight? Father, use me, Lord, in the work of the Lord. Come on, would you lift your voice? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's something special here tonight. I feel him in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And this brother was reading his scriptures from Isaiah. Amen. The Lord was asking the question. Who shall I send? Who's going to go and take care of all this work? Who's going to reach the lost? (laughs) Well, it's almost like Isaiah was standing over in the corner saying, Right? Me? I'll go. I wonder if there's any young people in this building tonight that has that same spirit. Lord, if you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I pray day stars shine out on me. Amen. You can go to your seats. Amen. Grab your Bibles. Just, amen, play softly there. I feel the Lord in this house. Hallelujah. 